What's going on guys, it's Cogdarts here, back with another video. And today I thought I'd switch it up and do something a little bit different. And I thought I'd showcase and highlight a few key features in both Hard Ops Box Cutter as well as Fluent Power Trip to help you guys in the deciding factor in which Boolean add-on tool is the one for you. But before we get started, I do want to mention the fact that I myself use both add-ons because I believe they complement each other. So where one lacks in a certain area, the other one kind of picks up and vice versa. So let's get right into it. Price and affordability. Now this is one of the main things that anyone looks at before making a decision on whether or not they should get one thing or another. Now I do want to mention that both these are set at really great prices and can easily sell for over 200 per add-on. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to do a quick comparison between the two. Now on the Blender Marketplace, Hard Ops Box Cutter is set at 38 per purchase. And for the Fluent Power Trip, it's set on the Blender Marketplace for $29 per purchase. So that's just something to consider. Now this isn't to mistake a lower price for being the final solution, but rather an eye-opening depending on your financial stability. So now let's talk a little bit about claw simulation. Now this is a new feature that's been added in both sides. So whether you choose Hard Ops Box Cutter or Fluent Power Trip, you now have access to the claw simulator. And although they are both great tools, I feel as though Fluent Power Trip's version is a lot more optimizable. So you can make the wrinkles on the edges, more fluffiness, and there's also online documentation to help you get the look you're looking for. And as far as box cutter version, I believe it's a great look right off the back without having to optimize so much, but there's not a lot of room for variation. All right guys, let's talk about the learning curve. Now the reason this is so vital is because if something is so difficult to grasp that you're gonna either A, quit and give up or B, invest more time in learning how to use said program or add-on. Now, if you're investing more time, then usually in the end it yields a great result, but as well, you're taking away time on actually producing work. Now, I personally found it around one to three days using Fluent to actually grasp it to where you know the hotkeys and understand how things work. And it's also because it's a smaller uh, UI and Fluent menu. Now, let's talk about box cutter. I find it takes a bit longer to grasp that because it's a lot more complex. You can do a lot more things with it, which usually yields more time to learn how to use it. And as well, there's also more menus, which could lead you down a, a rabbit hole. But luckily, there's uh, lots of tutorials on this subject matter. So if you ever get too confused, you can just YouTube it. And there's not as much uh, videos on Fluent. So these are just things to consider. Support and help. Say you get stuck, where can you go to find help? So for hard ops, they have a documented uh, manual online to help you in any situation that you may come across. But if you can't find the answer here, don't worry. You can go to their YouTube channel, which has a plethora of videos to help you in any situation. And a lot of people cover this topic. And as far as Fluent, they also have an online documentation for all the different tools and features. But sadly for the YouTube channel, there's not a lot of coverage on this. But where this lacks, there's a Discord, which is more like a community where people love to help you and share your ideas. And also CG Thoughts is really active on here. I wanna say he's hourly active. So hopefully this helped you guys in some way in deciding which add-on for Blender you wanna go with. And I will catch you guys in the next video.